state, Prince William and King Charles have focused their charity work on a series of pivotal issues affecting Britons up and down the country. Mental health, the protection of the environment, early childhood development and the cost of living crisis are all topics these senior royals have put at the forefront of their work in the past few years via initiatives, engagements and legacy making work. However, these issues are also matters with which MPs and the government have to deal, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams noted. Asked whether the royals are towing the political line, he suggested it is mandatory for Charles, William and Kate to be careful on how they carry out their work. He told Express.co.uk, in his Christmas message, King Charles talked of the cost of living crisis. He wasn't involving himself in party politics, simply empathizing with those on hard times. Catherine has launched the Royal Foundation Centre for Early Childhood and intends to make this her life's work. The importance of the early years has been little recognized, yet poor mental health, family breakdown, addiction and homelessness can result from experiences in early childhood. These are obviously matters with which politicians have to deal. The charitable activities of members of the royal family naturally focus on the less fortunate. The Prince's Trust has helped over one million disadvantaged young people. William's work for the environment with the Earthshot Prize and in the field of mental health also focuses on issues with which politicians are grappling with. It is pivotal, however, to maintain a strictly neutral stance when it comes to party politics. Royals must avoid statements which are politically contentious, but in areas such as helping the less fortunate their charitable endeavors are uniquely useful. Kate, William and Charles have all visited food banks in recent months, with engagements putting a spotlight on the extraordinary work carried out by staff and volunteers at these organizations in support of the most vulnerable in their communities. The royals have also offered practical help to those in need, with King Charles opening the doors to his home in Gloucestershire, Highgrove House, to offer a warm space and social activities to members of the public struggling to keep warm among the cost of living crisis, as well as those experiencing loneliness. Most recently, Kate launched her latest campaign, Shaping Us, part of her legacy-making work focused on early childhood development. This initiative aims at deepening Britain's understanding of how experiences and teachings lived through by children in the first five years of life can help them become happy, healthy and successful adults. Among the main factors contributing to the well-being of young children and their families, Experts working with Kate named affordable housing and green areas. As part of her work on the early childhood, the Princess of Wales also held a high-profile meeting last June with the then Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, and Will Quince, the then Families Minister, to highlight the huge appetite in Britain for driving awareness and action on the wider impact that the first five years of life can have on society at large. Nevertheless, the Prince's work on this matter is still considered influencing policymaking rather than political advocacy, as was her effort to tear down the stigma surrounding mental health jointly spearheaded with Prince Harry and Prince William in 2016. Earlier this week, the Daily Express royal correspondent, Richard Palmer, tweeted, Members of the royal family have to be careful about interfering in politics, certainly where the parties have different views. But ultimately, the princess wants to influence public policy, as well as attitudes of employers and others, just as Heads Together has. As noted by Mr. Palmer and Mr. Fitzwilliams, members of the firm and particularly those in direct line of succession to the throne are required to remain politically neutral at all times not to sway public opinion.